All right, so let's get started. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how many reps you should be doing while you work out. But before we get into how many reps, let's talk about reps in general. There's many different ways to do reps. I'm sure you've seen many different reps going on in the gym. The way we all wanna do it is complete control with full range of motion all the way up, all the way down. But you've seen many half reps, which is not going full range of motion, whether it be half down here or half up here. Another thing that you can see is complete concentric, but then absolutely no eccentric part of the movement. Pushing hard and then letting the weights just drop or letting your body just drop if you're doing calisthenics. So for all of us to be on the same page, let's consider a rep as complete control, full range of motion, all the way up, all the way down with the concentric and eccentric part of the movement to complete one full rep. So with that one perfect rep being the goal, there's many different reasons to be doing different rep ranges. Now, all rep ranges increase muscle development, build strength, creates endurance, and of course burns fat, but you can use certain rep ranges to emphasize on one of those things. For example, if you're trying to specifically increase and focus on strength building, then five reps is probably the best bet for you. Doing five reps and fatiguing on the fifth rep is gonna increase your strength. The trick though is to find yourself fatigued at that fifth rep. So this rep range is reserved for more difficult exercises, something that you can barely do at this moment. Of course, something that is gonna make you struggle and fatigue at the fifth rep. Maybe something like a heavy lift or a more advanced calisthenics movement like planche push-ups or heavy deadlifts, something like that, you'd wanna be doing five reps of. And eventually, you're gonna increase your overload by doing just five reps. The reason why is because doing less reps is gonna allow you to put more effort into those reps, allowing you to increase your overload, being able to put on more weight. Now, if you're trying to emphasize and focus mainly on muscle development, then you wanna be hitting 10 to 12 reps. That's the main bodybuilding style rep range. You'll normally find that rep range in the gym. And that's really good for muscle development, but that's also the reason why many people are always plateauing. They're always sticking to that one rep range, 10 to 12. And 10 to 12 reps is only gonna allow you to do so much, which is why you need to be mixing it up, doing different types of rep ranges. That's why there is no one rep range that's gonna be best. If you're trying to emphasize mainly on strength, you're gonna go for five. If you wanna really develop those muscles, you wanna go for 10 to 12. And if you want to be focusing on endurance, then you want to be maxing out, meaning repping out as many times until you can't go anymore, going to complete failure. And when you're going to complete failure, you're actually building muscle as well. You're breaking those muscle fibers and building a progressive overload and a time under tension that you normally never reach, which is also going to build strength as well and increase your overload in the process. And if you want to take it to the next level, then you would want to set a number that's higher than your max and complete those reps. When you set a number higher than what your max is, it forces you to reach fatigue multiple times to complete those required reps. For example, if you can only do 20 pull-ups and then you drop and fatigue, then you want to set the number of something like 30 pull-ups so that you're going to fatigue at that 20, you're going to drop, go right back up. You might do about seven, drop, and then you're going to finish it off and complete with the last three. And in that process, you're combining endurance, fat burning, strength building, and muscle development all into one, which is why doing those high numbers is personally my favorite. But you still can't stick to one either because you would still need to hit five reps of really, really, really heavy or really, really advanced movements to really emphasize on increasing your strength and your overload. So you can see why doing all different types of rep ranges are super important. So if you really wanna get the most out of your workouts and your gains, you need to be utilizing all of them. So now I'm gonna show you guys a back and bicep routine that's gonna use all rep ranges so we can show you how to apply them into a workout. So first we'll be focusing on five reps, increasing strength, and we're gonna go for deadlifts. You guys ready? Let's get right into it. All right, so here's a good example, guys. This was tough, but I could have definitely done more than five. So for the next time, I'm gonna increase more weight so that when I go for it again, I'm gonna actually fatigue on that fifth rep. You're gonna see me struggling to get that last one. That's exactly where you wanna be to get the most out of this move right here to really focus on increasing your overload. And as you can see, it works. Here's my current overload. I'm gonna now increase this weight, and then I'm gonna do it again. Eventually, as you do this, you're gonna be able to increase more and more weight going up. So next we have 10 to 12 reps. That's gonna focus on our muscle development. Let's go for some muscle ups.
that was like 12, something around there. But so right there, perfect example, guys. This rep range is reserved for exercises that you're actually capable of doing. Just make sure that it has good form and make sure you're still being challenged with that rep range. All right, so the next ones we're gonna go into are pen lay rows. We're gonna max these out. So we're not focusing on the number here. We're just trying to do as perfect reps as possible. You can hit two, three, 10, 20, you're maxing out. That's why this te specific technique can be applied to really any exercise. So let's go for some pen lay rows. That's a good set right there. Let's keep it moving because the next one, we're gonna have to max out a couple of times. We got headbangers next. Let's go for it. All right, so this next move, we have headbangers. And we're gonna go for 30. So hopefully I max out somewhere in between, come down, fully fatigued, jump back up, fatigue again, jump back up, complete my reps. All right, let's go for 30 headbangers. You guys want to stop when the form starts lacking. Perfect reps only, right? All right, we got 10 left. Let's go back up. Whew. Five more. Let's do it, baby. Now, to be honest with you guys, those last headbangers was probably the easiest move, but that's the one that I actually feel the most pumped from, because fatiguing three times in a row, it's no joke. So now I want you guys to try. Add these different rep ranges into your next workout. Comment down below and let us know what worked for you. So with that said, definitely smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and comment within the first 30 minutes of this upload and you guys always have a chance to win some Thenx gear because we post every single Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern time. And if you guys are trying to get workouts just like this, trying to get shredded in the best shape of your life, sign up right now, thenx.com. Get full access to all our workout programs, technique guides, daily workouts, they're gonna have you shredded. And download our Thenx app in the app store to take our workouts with you everywhere. It's like having us as a personal trainer in your pocket. So with that said guys, let me know who you wanna see in the next video and what you want the next video to be about down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next Sunday, or maybe someone else will. Anyway, peace out, mad love. And before I go guys, really quick, you already know, we're gonna be in Europe, Portugal, Spain, Zurich, UK. If you guys wanna be part of it, sign up right now, thenx.com slash blog slash events, and I'll see you guys there. Peace out.